two, one. What's good, Council of Comics? Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Pickups, episode number 20. We're heading back out to Kent Comics. Picked up about 14 books for about $64 or so. Let's see if we got a profit or not. Let's go. Black is the brightest day. Where are the heroes? Before we get started, I want to make sure everybody that is in here that I thank you for watching the video, please hit that like button. Also, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. You know, the analytics show that more than half of you guys that are watching aren't even subscribed. And if you guys hit the subscribe, subscribe button, we'll probably hit a thousand subscribers sooner than we anticipate. Um, once again, shout out to the 2023 uh, Comic Book Community Awards. We've been nominated for Best Comedic content creator with a bunch of other wonderful channels um shout out to brian lcs for putting it all together and thank you for everybody that put their support and uh voting for us to get nominated now um i'm gonna leave the link in the comments below where you guys can go vote feel free to vote for all of them feel free to or just vote for our uh category we'd also like you to vote for angel uh our good friend that passed away recently he's up for best spec uh comic book channel empire comics we click up uh, a vote for him would be much, much, much appreciated. All right, so comic book pickups, right? I don't have that much comedy in these. I try to be funny. I try to do something that, you know, do a little voice or something like that. But New Comic Book Day has got all the real, real good comedy. Or maybe you like this raw, dry comedy. I don't know. Um, but this series, I just go over books that I got from say a dollar bin or I got cheap somewhere and then we try to see what the profits are so I went out to Kent Comics it's about it's about 30 minutes from me it's in New York um, and it's a small little shop and we went out there before there's another video about what we picked up so we decided to go back out there again and pick up some more books so I got 14 books all right and we paid 64 dollars for them so let's see what we got first up out the gate G.I. Joe number six this is the original run of G.I. Joe from Marvel. Um, recently, Image Comics has announced an uh, agreement with Skybound that they now obtain the rights to G.I. Joe and Transformers. They'll be launching new G.I. Joe and Transformers series. But Larry Hama has been announced to come back and continue A Real American Hero, which ended with issue 300 in IDW, and it ended on like a, a cliffhanger and the return of Snake Eyes, which is phenomenal. Um, so they're releasing in November issue 301 with Larry Hama continuing the best comic book series ever But this is uh, um, Book number six of the original run um, This is one that I needed for my collection. I paid five dollars for this and it's worth about twenty five dollars in great condition classic little Cobra commander head with the October garden there along with the Joes Very nice. So that's a good pickup right there. Very very good next up the Sensational She-Hulk, number 46. It's a very dope puzzle uh, face cover of Jen Walters. Um, this is from her volume two, which uh, volume two is kind of like the template for the She-Hulk series that's out. The way she talks to the fourth wall, comedic. It's done in this series. This is where it originated. Um, I paid $2.50 for this, but this is like a $7 book in great condition. These She-Hulks, especially toward the, the end of the run and the beginning of the run, they're around that $7, $12, $15 mark. And if you see them, pick them up. Here's a good one. The X-Files, number one. First collector item issue. Very nice. I paid $14 for this. But it's worth $25. Very nice. Look at them. Look at those guys. I think they're coming out with something new. They're continuing the X-Files. Maybe they have already. I'm not an X-Files person. Let me know. Leave in the comments below if they did. But this is the first issue from Topps Comics. Very, very nice. You know I like to pick up these niche TV, movie, animation type stuff. Um, next up, the Age of the Century variant edition number one. I paid $3.25 for this. It's about a $5 book. I thought I'd pick it up because it's the number one and it has to deal with the century. And the Century is showing up in the Thunderbolts movie played by Stephen Yang, um, 
I hope I said his name right. Um, from The Walking Dead, he'll be playing the Sentry um, in the Thunderbolts movie. So this was an issue one or variant. I was like, let me pick it up. And then it's, you know, it's worth five bucks. So really good. Next up, Alpha Flight number 17. This is a 60 center. Yeah. Do you know about them 60 centers? This is a homage to the classic X-Men issue of Alpha Flight um, coming to get Wolverine. This is also a newsstand. Very, very dope. I believe this is a burn too as well. Yep. John Byrne, one of the legendary artists. Big guy on the X-Men. Just a great, great cover. Great, great cover. What is this under? The X-Men and Alpha Flight. How they met and what happened later. Plus, a new leader. <laughs> um, but I paid $325. This is a $7 book, newsstand. This might go on the PC because I like that very much. Next up, I show this book a lot, but I'm going to keep pressing it. X-Men number one, cover D, the Magneto cover. Drawn by Jim Lee. This is part of the greatest selling comic books of all time. This issue has five different covers. One through... Sorry, I got that little bit. A through D. And then they have an E cover that collects them all. They sold over 8 million copies. Became the biggest selling book of all time. This is the one out of the A through D that people covet the most. Um, this one's worth about $12. But you could get it up to like 15, 20 with a real, real, real. This is good condition. But if you got like a 9.8, is this a 9.8? Hmm. Hmm. I put 12, but I'm going to say about 15. This is really good. Look at that cover. It's classic. Classic Magneto. Very nice. Dope. Very dope. And uh, we got issue two of that same series. Magneto Triumphant. Um, this book is worth about $10. You can find these in those dollar bins or some shops that have bins and they have a whole bunch and they'll sell it to you for like two, three bucks. These are worth about 10 if you get it graded. Pretty good. Remember what I said? A lot of people say, oh, there's millions of them out there. There's millions of them out there. I don't really think there's millions of them out there. Are there a lot of these out there? Yes. Millions? I don't know. So snatch them up now while you can before uh, you can't. Next up. Uh, Spider-Man number three from Todd McFarlane. This was a series. They gave him his own solo series after The Amazing Spider-Man. He wrote this book. He drew this book. It was a very, very dark book. Um, the first 13 issues are really, really dark. He fights people like the Lizard, the Hobgoblin, Ghost Rider comes on the scene. Um, Craven comes on the scene. Morbius comes on the scene. Wolverine shows up in a couple of issues. And it's just a classic series from McFarlane classic series he is the all-time spider-man artist in my opinion nobody can top it it's a ten dollar book and i also got issue number two issue number two is dope there's a lizard McFarlane is just a beast does it say bloodlust of the lizard McFarlane classic little signature right there very nice. Torment Part 2, that Torment series. Remember, he wrote it. This is like one of his first things he was writing. So it was okay, but it fit for his his right, his right artist style. It fit. All right, next up. I got Deuces. I got Deuces on Spectacular Spider-Man number 120. All right, so this one is a $10 book. This is the direct sand. This is the Marvel 25th anniversary cover. Now, during the Marvel 25th anniversary, these books all had this cover every single marvel book and it's sometimes well not sometimes there are niches out there people that um is that the right way to say that there are people there are a niche group of people who collect these books these uh marvel 25th anniversary border cover books um and this was a good one i found they had deuces they had the direct one and they had the newsstand one remember we say about those newsstands those newsstands from about 83 to like 2000 and something, pick them up. Pick them up. Don't hesitate. It's dope. He was rocking the black suit at that time. I don't think he knew it was a symbiote at the time, though. Um, we're closing down now. I got Avengers number 238, Unlimited Vision. This is also a newsstand. I paid $4 for this, but this is a $10 book. 60 Center. Look at that 60 Center. Do. Dope. It has Vision on there. As Captain Marvel. Remember, she was the original Captain Marvel. She was the first woman to be called Captain Marvel. 
Um, not Carol Danvers. Um, there's Star Fox over there. Very, very dope. Very, very dope Avengers book. I also got Avengers number 250. Double size, double team entertainment or excitement. Um, I paid $350 for this. This is also a $10 book. Um, and I really like collecting the the milestone issues like 100, 25, 50, 75, 250, that kind of thing. This is issue number 250. Um, newsstand in great, great condition, man. I might give it a press and we'll see how it goes. This is, I think this would be a dope book to have graded. Very, very nice. Excellent. In the last book, I found this in their, in their cabinets and stuff, but it was really beat up. But it's a super key. Um, it's Avengers 267. The first appearance of the Council of Kangs. The Council of Comics. The Council of Kangs. Ah! Um, <laughs> Kang lives. This is a classic book. In 9.8 condition raw, this book is about $60, $70. Right? Graded. You're getting up there like 250 300 for that whole range. But this is like a 5.0 because it's, it's beat up. It's gnarled. You know what I mean? It's got pieces missing. It's got pieces. And I put 12 there. Because you could probably still get 12 in this era for this book. Thinking that it's worth 60 to 70. You could get 12. So I put 12 there. You don't like I put 12 there? I don't care if you don't like it. It's what I put. You want to put something different? Go make your own video. 12. Yes. Hmm. Alright. So... Those are all the books. There's 14 books. I uh, paid $64.25 for them. All right. Uh, they're worth $168. $168. And that leaves us a profit of a hundred and let's say seven? Or hundred 103.75. I'm looking at the math here because I scribbled it. Um three. Let me do some math real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $103.75. A profit of so we made about a hundred dollars back out of this and that's really really good um not one of the biggest hauls um i got a really big haul coming up really big haul uh, probably not the next one but the one after um but it's decent about 103 dollars. that's what we're talking about remember what we say some go into pc some go to for sale you decide which ones you do and which ones you don't all right shout out to kent comics uh great spot out in, out in carmel new york go check them out all right so remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Check out New Comic Book Day, our running series. We're up to like 63, 64. I don't know what it is, but we got funny, funny skits in front of it. Very, very funny skits so you can watch. And then I got the link in the description with the thing that you can hit. And you can go and you can vote. Um, vote for us and Empire Comics. If you want to vote for more people, sure, fine. Have a ball. Just tappy, tappy away. Do what you do. Um, but I thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I always do that with video, right? For myself and the rest of the Council of Comics, we thank you for watching. We love you. See you next time. Peace.